This topic was bound to happen sooner or later, and, well, it's been a lot more recent as of late with pictures and such, running around the internet and all that stuff. Uh, it is, it starts as Zelda related, but let's face it, it can be put almost anywhere when it comes to media and gaming in particular, but I'm sure you could stretch it to other media as well. Making demands that, you know, from your point of view, that must be in the game for you to like it, or in, sen in a sense like that. Recently with Zelda, I've been seeing a lot of people, and I mean a good majority of people, I, okay, maybe not a majority. I won't say a majority. That's rude of me to say that a majority of people. But a nice chunk of people have been stating that Link must be female or Zelda must be playable, you know, to move the series forward or to, in, in general, just it has to be done. And, you know, kudos to Nintendo if they want to do this and make a good game where Zelda or a female Link is the protagonist. But that's the key there. We make demands expecting them to follow the demands, but what if they're hesitant? What if they don't want to make a game where they're changing their roles? And, you know, sticking to that section right there, where they would have to follow a female protagonist side of things. What if what they want and their vision truly is a male protagonist. Why do we have to distress and criticize and hate a great game if it is one just because the, fe the protagonist isn't female that we must move forward and have other representation? Representation in gaming is great, don't get me wrong. I would love to see, I love seeing games with unique and different protagonists, be it male, female, what, or whatever combination in between. If the developers want to make a protagonist, antagonist, whatever, fit a certain niche and can write and move the game around that without drawing overly attention to the fact that, yep, that's a female, it's a female. Did you remember? It's a female. It's just... We should appreciate, if it's a good game, what the developers did with their for, with their art, with what they're producing to you. I never quite understood the appeal of yelling at the developers because they didn't fill the niche you were after in terms of just having a protagonist be what you want. Learn to appreciate the protagonist if you liked the game. And if you can't appreciate the protagonist and the game's just good, we'll deal with not liking the protagonist. Don't criticize the company for making something you particularly don't like. And there's a whole nother feel in like, okay, well, I didn't like this protagonist. I would like it if it was this instead of this. That's a whole nother animal to think. You should make it female because that's what we want. Okay, for first things first, one person cannot speak for the entire world. A group cannot speak for the entire world of gaming. It's impossible. I, for one, I don't share these views. I don't, like, personally on my front, since this is a ramble series, and let's face it, I can go in any topic I wish and go trail off in every which direction? Direction. I, personally, don't mind what they do in the Zelda franchise with my protagonist. As long as it's a game they wanted to make, whether it take a weird direction or not, when there's the love and care to make a game that's fun to them, people will find it entertaining. Sure, there are genres and games that we don't particularly like. That just happens. You don't have to buy and love every single game Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, Valve, whatever. Blizzard, Koei Tecmo, whatever. <laughs> Although Koei Tecmo makes one genre of game, you don't have to like everything they make. And you know, let's move. Let's move on to Koei Tecmo real quick. Koei Tecmo wanted to make a Zelda game. Originally, they were trying to go what they, you know, they were trying to make a game that would fit the Zelda lineage, that would be a Zelda game with some elements from the Dynasty Warriors franchise games that they love making and are experienced in making. Okay, 
Nintendo noticed this and stated, you, look, this is not your strong suit. We can clearly see you're not enjoying what you're doing here. You're confused, irritated, frustrated, because you're not making something that's on par. Why not take the Zelda game franchise and put it in your series and work around that? And then we got Hyrule. Then we got Hyrule Warriors. What a difference. Hyrule Warriors was a Dynasty Warriors game with a Zelda love and fanfare. It was crafted with lots and lots of attention to detail. They wanted to make a game that they were experienced making and show their appreciation for a franchise while drawing in a new audience that loves the Zelda franchise into their games. They sold it on me because I could see how much fun and care they put into their games. And it's great! It was a lot of fun to do and see, and it's because they themselves wanted to make it. They had a lot of representation there, and it was just overall a lot of fun, but it's a game they wanted to make. Let's look at... I'm going to keep it mostly Zelda related in this uh, specific video, if only because the topic was started by Zelda. Let's look at A Link Between Worlds. A Link Between Worlds had the standard Link is the male protagonist, Zelda's the captured dan uh, the captured girl. Let's go on with that. All right. That was a top-notch best Zelda game we've had in years, according to many different sites, articles, people in general that I talked to. Everybody seems to have loved A Link Between Worlds. And, well, that was great. You know why you loved it? Because, guess what? It was a game Nintendo really wanted to make. Ayanuma was set on making this game. He didn't compromise on his vision because of fans. Fans wanted a link, uh, and a link to the Past remake. He went one step further and made a game he wanted to make using the A Link to the Past formula. And World. That's innovative. That's He turned something so neat into something better. And I'm not going to state that it's better than A Link to the Past because there are people who love A Link to the Past more and that's completely opinion based. But we should appreciate and respect developers and their vision for what they create. We can enjoy if they put themselves 100% behind it and making compromises because they're yelled at by, by um, the constant consumer outcry is not something that really boosts self-esteem and can lead to a lesser product. Because, hey, what if they already had this protagonist? Now, you know, oddly enough, Link doesn't take too much of a personality to work around, right? He's not the most written character in gaming, and he probably is one of the easier ones you could swap to a female. But it's the world around that really reacts to what who he is and maybe one day we'll see a game where there's a female protagonist or maybe one day we'll see a game where to truly link it to the players you get the choice of a male or female protagonist and it doesn't really matter skyward sword is the only zelda game right now i would feel where that wouldn't work why wouldn't it work well in general that was the most romantic we've ever seen link in zelda that was set, Link had a personality, but if they're gonna make a big game, gender equality might be a cool idea where you pick your you pick your gender, and that, you know, that'd be great. But right now, with that not on the horizon, we should appreciate what we're given by the developer with their artistic vision, as long as the game is fun, interesting, and polished. If this game is not at all polished, then we should criticize that the game is bad, or that the game is missing key components, that the game isn't up to standard. The artistic vision is something that we, as people, can criticize for sure. We can state, like, you know, this wasn't up my alley, or this was offensive, or in some way like that. But over the simple fact that we're missing a female protagonist, it just boggles the mind I don't 
I really wish I could understand. Help me understand here. I know I rambled a bit long here, but it's just it was on my mind. And long story short, appreciate what you're given when it's a good game. I probably said that so many times. I've been on the AFK Chaotic Reunion, and I'll see you all in the next one.